Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be talking about grounds, and this is mostly in the engine bay. This harness here, as you're seeing, attaches to the battery, and there's other grounds throughout the car as well for all the electrical system. There's even this one here that you've probably seen that uh, goes up to the hood, so... Um, we're going to talk more about the the engine ground ones. This car has a big three upgrade, so I actually ran another one that goes to the rear motor mount. But if you look at it, uh, along here there's also the factory grounds, and we're going to be following that harness that I showed in the beginning just to kind of show you where it kind of goes in here and where it attaches. So if you follow the main one here off of the negative battery terminal, you'll see that there's actually several. Some go right to the screen a little screw there, some come all the way around, um, some go to the computer down in here, and so it branches off into a lot of spots, and so it's really hard to follow it. And again, some of it's going to the computer, some of it's going to um, a lot of the smaller connections, and here's another picture of it. You can definitely see the battery terminals there, but where uh, these ones are going for the most part are here on the motor mount. You can see the top and the bottom bolt on the stud for the motor mount. This is the driver's side, and so there's one that goes to the chassis of the car, so you can see it's just that thin one, a little belt strap, and so that's its own one, and the one on the bottom is coming from that harness to the bottom of the motor mount bolt. Uh, then if you look at the other end here, there's a little bracket. So if you see this bracket, this is now going over onto uh, the passenger side. And in my video for motor mounts, uh, here's a clip from removing that bracket you can see here. So as you pull this down, um, this bracket attaches to the mo motor mount, but the ground is actually going to the starter. That bracket also connects here at the front near the timing cover. Um, but uh, that's just another place where that uh, harness will run. So that's kind of a picture of that on the passenger side. Uh, but going back to the driver's side motor mount, the front studs here are where your main grounds are going. One from, again, the engine to the frame and the other from the engine to the battery post. And again, on the passenger side is where you're going to have it go to the actual starter. Here's a, a, a little clip from the F-150 starter that we removed. And again, make sure that uh, the battery is disconnected whenever you're handling near this so it doesn't uh, arc on you. Now, you may have heard of the Big 3 wiring upgrade, and this is when you have a higher output alternator, and I have a video, and I'll put the link to that in the video description. And so basically, all that's doing is replacing some of these wires, and I used the rear motor mount to bolt on the driver's side for one of them, just so that it wasn't uh, interfering with the other ones. It was still a good place to mount it, so you can see I just took the bolt out, ground it down with a wire brush, and then installed it. And I fitted the ends with 90 degree fittings and some other things that worked out really nice. So check the video description for that. And uh, again, the big three wire upgrade is if you have a higher output alternator and you're just replacing that bigger ground going from the battery to the engine block, uh, the one from this uh, right here by the oil filter that goes from uh, the block to the frame, and then a bigger power wire to the alternator. So. Anyway, um, this is what you should be checking if the car is having issues charging or if the alternator doesn't seem to be working and you're trying to see if it's a bad ground. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And thanks for watching.